Hello everyone, in this particular lecture we are going to learn about a very easy concept that is JavaScript modules. The JavaScript modules allow you to split code into reusable files, right? And then we can simply import and export them whenever we need. So let's understand that how this JavaScript modules work step by step. Let's start. Now for understanding the concept of JavaScript modules, let's create a new file named data.js right and one more thing which you need to remember is that when you are linking your js file with your script tag you also need to mention the type equals to module right so the main file is script.js which is connected to my html right so you need to uh, write type equals to module for that file right okay fine now inside this data.js file what I will do, I will create a function. Let's say function. Let's name the function add. Give it a parameter that is x comma y. And inside of this, let's return x plus y. Fine. Yeah. Now, I want this particular function to get exported to this script.js file. Means I am writing the function here, but I want this function to run in this particular JS file page right so for that what we need to do here comes the concept of JavaScript modules and it can be done using export and import statement how export can be done it is very simple you just need to write export before the function right yeah now in the script.js file you simply need to write import and then Put a curly bracket inside of this we will call the name of that particular function that is add find and then from and write the location of that particular file that is dot data and then put the dot js here fine don't forget to mention dot js at the end of the file name fine now if i want to print the value of and use this particular function we are going to use console.log and then I will call that particular function add. Inside of this, I will give two argument that is 3, 4. I should get a value 7 in the console. Let's see whether I am getting it not or not. So you can see that I am getting the value 7 here, right? So it means that the function which I created in the data.js file is now working in the script.js file. And that's what your module JavaScript module does. Fine. Now the question arises that why would I made make a separate file? Well, for storing large set of data, let's say this data. Okay. So this is a very large data, right? Now if I store it inside the same file, this whole content will become so bulky that it will be very difficult for you to understand that how my whole logic and my main JavaScript file is working, right? That's why we use these kind of external files. And if I write here export and I call it here const, sorry, what was the name? The name was data, right? Yeah, data. Now, if I want to use this data, Let's see that whether this data is coming in my script JS of file or not. For that, we will write console.log and the data, right? Let's see in our console that whether we are getting the data or not. And as you can see, yes, I am getting the data, right? So this was present in my data.js file, and that same data is present here. Now, if I want to work with it, I can simply write data.post. Now, if I go on my console, you can see I'm getting only the post. It means that I can work with the data which I'm getting from the external file, right? So this is how we work with the JavaScript modules. And this is how we work with the import and export statement and the keywords. And this is what our today's lecture was all about. Thank you so much for watching. Till then, goodbye.